Several scams now making their way around Kentuckiana from card skimmers at gas stations to people claiming to be with your local utility saying you have a past due balance and you better pay up with money immediately. Well, don't fall for it. Mindy Eaton with the Better Business Bureau joining us live to talk about all of these scams. And we want to start first. Let's talk social security compromise. Has this one been around for a while? It's been around for a little bit. We've been seeing a really big uptick in it within the past few weeks, though, because people are getting phone calls saying that, you know, they're with the Social Security Administration, their number's been compromised, and we need you to enter in your phone number to verify that it is you, or we're going to delete your Social Security number. Well, that so, can't happen, yeah, right? Yeah, that's kind of the twist there, is they're saying, you know, you've got to enter in your number, otherwise we're just going to completely delete it, and your Social Security is going to be gone, things like that. So when they... They want your phone number, then do they want more information? No, they want your social security number. They oh, they want, want you your social security yeah, number. Yeah, so type more in your social security your number, yeah. So we all know that is a no-no. Do not give out your social security number over the phone. And no one's going to delete it, right? No. All right, so yeah, keep that in social security mind. number. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one, the IRS telling us we owe money. Yeah, so this one, unfortunately, is, you know, uh, back again. So we're, just remember, the IRS does not call you. If you do owe any taxes, they are going to send you a letter in the mail. So if you get somebody claiming to be with the IRS, demanding money over the phone, just hang up. But again, a lot of these you figure they do to the elderly and try to scare them because they say, we will come and arrest you. So yeah. that's that fear tactic. It, exactly. And that's the big thing with the IRS scam is that they are feeding on that fear that, you know, you think, well, maybe I did miss something or maybe I did do something wrong with my taxes and I don't want to get arrested, so I'll go ahead and pay the money now. But don't do it. All right. Another one, card skimmers. These are tough. Yeah, and the card skimmers and, of course, the card shimmers are on the other part of or You had to other educate me on spectrum. shimmers. So skimmers yeah. are more on the outside skimmers, or for when you slide a skimmers card. Skimmers are when you slide a card, so it's going to read that black strip that's on your card. Shimmers, on the other hand, are going to read the card ship that's on your card. So the skimmers are a little bit more easier to tag. They're generally taped on, so if you, you know, so if, if you're you see any tape or anything on where you would swipe, then go in and alert somebody. Yeah, just kind of wiggle it around. If it comes off pretty easily, chances are there's a skimmer on it. Um, but yeah, alert somebody if you see something suspicious. Okay, tell us about the next one, which is the utility scam going around. Yeah, so we've been getting um, reports from people, whether it's with the electric company, gas company, cable company, whoever, saying that, you know, you've got a past due balance, you owe us money, and you need to pay now, otherwise we're going to cut off your electricity or your water or whatever it is. So again, this is another scare tactic that these scammers are using to try to scare people into paying money over the phone without actually checking the source. And again, it's not going to happen that way. It's That's not going to happen that way. Play out. All right, the final one, celebrity messages. Is this yeah. something like on Facebook or? This is a, a lot of times on Facebook. Social media? Yeah, mainly social media, but mainly on Facebook. So, you know, your favorite celebrity is posing and somebody shared a post saying that, you know, that they're going to give away money to, you know, some fan or they're starting a new charity and they want you to donate money to their charity. It gives you a link to sign up to get the money or to, you know, donate to the charity. Unfortunately, that's just sending you to a phishing site most of the time, or they're just trying to get your information. You said some celebrities have even come out and said, don't fall for this. Yeah, so there's even been some right. celebrities that have actually come out to say, I don't know, have my charity this doing this. This is not my name. You know, I am not doing this. You know, don't fall for it. And they're calling it what it Very is, a good. scam. Good information, as always. Really appreciate it. And to contact the Better Business Bureau, you can give them a call locally at 583-6546 or visit BBB.org.